In looking for a penalty, I want something that people take seriously. Apparently, they aren't taking seriously the warnings that the law enforcement puts out there. I know that opposition is going to come in, and I've had some calls already. Well, what happens if I have a medical emergency? I've contacted law enforcement. They are more than happy to get a call and assist. It's ridiculous to have a $20 fine for something that is this dangerous. And then that's the reason. I had a bill made up, but Joan had hers done first, so I withdrew mine. Mine had $250 fine in it. And I'm not testifying today as to what the fine should be. That's a policy issue. I am testifying that the statute in place is not working. And that uh, what's happening is that there's cost for the rescue operation, for the delay of getting roads open, and for the delay to other drivers waiting for the road to open is a big cost to the economy that should not be tolerated. I believe the, the bill makes a lot of sense. Driving around um, the barricades on a closed highway makes no sense at all. But it's difficult to keep everybody off those roads um, when they don't know the roads closed. And I've been in this situation myself. I travel a lot and um, have in inadvertently ended up on closed Interstate 29 one day um, when there was no barrier uh, coming onto the road. Law enforcement is going to interview the person. They're going to find out the story. And more often than not, the person says, I knew it was closed, but I had to get home to turn on the crock pot. I had to get home to uh, do the laundry. I mean, it, it seems to be pretty lame excuses. Legislators are looking to compromise on the matter and create a graduated fine that would have bigger fines for deliberate violations than accidental ones.